gotta turn on the light, okay? Okay, if you have to. So remember that whole uh, getting the schedules back into flow and that whole thing? We kind of dropped the ball today a little bit. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. What time is it? What time is it? And then we're, I'm finally getting out of bed and you're maybe getting out of bed? 5.30. In the morning. <sighs> Yeah, it looks like it's 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. That's believable. But it's not. <sighs> oh, we're so screwed. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Does this mean we're probably going to stay up all night tonight again? No. No? Okay. Well, we'll figure something out. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't even know what to say. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Go get her, Arthur. Go get her. So, after finally deciding to get out of bed, first thing we did was watch episode 2 of season 3 of Sherlock. And in my opinion, it was crap. I don't know, I just, I'm really not liking this season and they only have one more episode to redeem it. I just, I don't know, the show's not what the show used to be. Maybe my tastes have changed and it's just been a long time since I watched you know season one and season two so maybe if I went back and watched season one and season two I wouldn't like it as much but it's just that's just not what I'm I'm expecting from it and it was just weird and I think I, I mean obviously some people can do it well but you really shouldn't have in almost anything uh, People trying to act drunk, because acting drunk is a very, very difficult thing to do well, I find. I mean, I, I can't think of a single uh, piece of film where it's been done well. What? Acting drunk. Acting drunk? Did you like them acting no, drunk? No, I hated it. I, I, I hate... Dr acting drunk in anything. I Did you know. like the dubstep Sherlock song when you they were drunk? Yeah, it was great. And was him what? Well, he walked out and he had the mouthful of the cigarettes. Was that a reference to that gentleman meme, possibly? Like, are they just? Uh, they're just throwing stuff in. They're just. Oh, maybe it wasn't, but uh, it's... that was him hiding his cigarettes. Sherlock, Sherlock has gone the way of <sighs> Sherlock has gone the way of supernatural. <gasps> That's right, I said it. I said it. They still have one more episode to redeem themselves. They do. It's because it's not as it's, as it was before. It's it's you know? it's a different show. It's a very different it show. It is different, but they can I don't know make it better. We'll see. I don't know. Anyways, enough about Sherlock. I don't think we're getting to Lost Season 3. To, well, we might later tonight, but right now, because we have a Rachel present. Rachel present? right there. Well, not a Rachel present. We have a Rachel present. She is here. Rachel present? <laughs> and I think we're going we're gonna to play a round of Story War. Round or two. We'll see. See how it goes. Basically what Story War is. Did we explain what Story War was? Uh, I don't think we did. Anyways, it's a game where you have a hand of cards and there are three different types of cards. Uh, there's location cards, but that's, cards. A, that's not in your hand. So the green card's the location? Yeah. yeah. 
Then you have red cards, which are creature cards. The warriors! Yeah, or warriors. And then you have blue cards, which are items. Items! Yes. So, uh, in your hand you have three creatures, or three warriors, and two items. And the person who's being the judge flips up a location card. And then the two other people, because we're playing with three people, uh, we face off against each other, choosing a creature card, or a warrior card. Uh, and if we wish, we can also choose an item card. Uh, and then we basically make up a story of why we should win that battle. And then the person who is judging judges and picks a winner. Da, da, da. You're first. I'm fighting with a werewolf. I am fighting with a Trent, which is like an ant. He's already pretty pissed about the library because of all the paper, so I better watch out. So the Trent being so noisy. Ah, oh, but the reason why the books even have sentinels in the first place is because they're still somewhat alive from when they used to be other Trents. So if we wake them up, they'll just be on my side. Okay. So the Trent has woken up the books to fight the werewolf as well then? Yes, but what can books do? No, they can fly at you. The werewolf rides his flying carpet and dodges books and slashes at the Trent, cutting off branches and making him wounded. I'll use a flame bow and then the whole place burns down. So we all die? Yes. Woo! Everybody dies. Alright. Anything Except, else to add? No, no, no. Okay. I am able to fly out of the library as Rachel, Trent, and the books burn down. Cause she's a Trent, so she's a tree. So sure. She's highly fam flammable. Okay, so. Well, in the library, where the werewolf and the Trent, is that how it's yeah. pronounced? Okay. Uh, well, or they're there. I don't know, what they're, like say don't know what they're doing uh, just in the library. Anyways, as they're battling, uh, the Trent uh, awakens the books of the library, and the books of the library being trees before they were paper, uh, as Rachel said, decide to ally themselves with the Trent. Uh, luckily, the werewolf has a magical flying carpet and decides to hop on the flying carpet and is zooming around, dodging books left, right, and center, periodically slashing at the Trent, maybe peeing on it. I don't know, because it's, 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 a, it's a werewolf. It's, it's like a dog, so it's going to do that. Uh, <laughs> the Trent getting furious that it, 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 it damages the werewolf a little bit, because, you know, obviously branches are... And books are flying around. Um, the Trent, enraged, pulls out uh, its magical flame bow. Um, but the Trent, uh, not even taking note that, oops, I forgot that I'm a tree because I I think that I'm humanoid because I'm sentient. Uh, instantly, before even firing off a shot from from the Trent's flame bow, flame bow. Bursts in the flames, the books are flying around and they catch fire, so there's just the whole library is ablaze. Um, the werewolf on the flying carpet uh, speeds as fast as it can towards an opening uh, in the library where it sees I can escape. The flying carpet gets singed a little bit because it is it is a carpet, so it is also flammable. Luckily, the werewolf. Um, although all its clothes are burnt off and its hair is singed a little bit, the werewolf, uh, gets out of there alive. Well, the tree is a pile of ash in the, in the now demolished library. Okay. So the werewolf wins. Hey. Hey, 
buddy. Ready to go to bed? Ready to go to bed? 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 Do you even know where you're going? Nope. <laughs> Silly Billy. Alrighty. It's late. Me and Lydia actually just finished Lost Season 3. So we're halfway through the show. Yes. I mean, I don't know how much we're going to be able to watch while we're doing school stuff. We'll see. Uh, I, you know, I think we're going to have enough free time, at least at the start. So, should be able to get through another season. Um, at least before summer, I would hope at least one season, if not the whole show. <laughs> we'll see. We'll try and make time, but, you know, priorities, so. <sighs> Anyways, time to go to bed and wake up in the morning and go to school. Good night. So the fairy is a trickster and using the invisibility ring, which is able to shrink to size according to people that like own it, the one ring. like the One Ring. Oh, yeah. So it fits her perfectly and is no, not able to make her fall or have her drop it to lose the invisibility. She is able to trick the Lich using her voice, calling her and getting her lost in the labyrinth, then steals her soul staff and casts it aside where the lich will never be able to find it, wandering the labyrinth till she dies. Okay.